All right, guys, new day, a ton of stuff to get done today. We've got to go to Orlando. I need to go by the bank. Oh, we just, we have a lot to do. And then we have to come back and do all the work on the Z. So uh, I'm waiting for this video to render. This is yesterday's video. Um, and then I can leave once it's uploaded. Uh, but I do want to say in this video, like editing it, I realized that I sounded kind of depressed, but I was just exhausted. I'm still exhausted. We've been going nonstop. But this, this change has been really nice. This change to like getting up and doing stuff to better my life and you know working on my car or you know making this house better or you know going to Orlando like just I don't know how to describe it instead of like having to go spend a set amount of time at work and then do everything after work like having the whole day to do whatever I need to do it just I, it just it's so freeing so I just I want to thank you guys so much for the support and this leap um, and thank you guys for the Drift giveaway support. A lot of you have entered. Um, we're still not quite to our goal yet to kind of like break even and cover all the costs. Um, you know, but I have faith that we'll get there. Um, so if you haven't entered and you want to enter, it is live, link below. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to get on the road as soon as this is done and we're going to go start knocking stuff out. Oh my God, I'm following this uh, garbage truck and garbage is just flying out. Oh, and now he's getting over in front of me. That's great. Why is he getting over? Getting back over. Okay, so we are officially on our way to. Oh, and he's getting back over. Oh my god. I was gonna go by the Z plug to pick up a door and a fender, um, but he only had one blue door and he didn't have any blue fenders. Uh, so I, I think like we're just running out of time and that stuff's not crucial to the car working. So I think we're gonna skip that for now. We're gonna go drop off the drive shaft, head to the PO box. Head to BC, head to Matt's. That's kind of the overall plan. I gotta say also, it's been, I mean, I haven't been here long, but it's been nice living somewhere without like the crazy Orlando traffic and the like hustle and bustle of that. Like I lived there for five years in one of the busier areas of Orlando, right off of Colonial, which is super busy. Um, and it, it's, I don't know, it's just a nice change to not have to fight your way out in the traffic to go a mile down the road to Walmart. It's, I, I don't know. I'm really happy with this move. I'm really excited for the future. I'll, I'll explain to you guys more kind of what the short-term plans are while the event giveaway is going on before we can start the budget builds. we got a lot of Ben's projects, my projects. It's going to be rad. I'm real stoked. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys when we get to Orlando. All right. Got everything dropped off here at Florida Powertrain? Yeah. So there's two places in Orlando that I know of that do drive shafts. There's Florida Powertrain and then there's American Driveline. And from what I understand, when American Driveline gets busy, they farm out some of their work to here. Um, and Fed got two drive shafts done. I mean, they were shortened with like yokes and U-joints changed for his Ram Charger for like 300 bucks, balance and everything. Um, so they said it was gonna be about 260. I supplied the pinion flange and the, you know, trans slip yoke. Uh, so basically they have to make a tube, you know, the thing the U-joint goes into on the end of the tube, you know, put it all together and balance it. Um, so, I mean, not bad, that was with text, so. I'm pretty happy with that. Moving on to the P.O. box. I know some, one of you sent me something for the Z and you said to help make it look pretty. We need to make it look pretty. So we gotta make sure to go over there and get whatever it is. Oh, Orlando, how I have not missed you. This interchange is so messed up because I-4 comes on right there and you used to have to get over. So everyone thinks they have to get over. So they start fighting to get over into this lane when they don't need to get over into this lane. It's just a mess, Orlando's a mess. Ciao. I picked up my non-locking gas cap I ordered forever ago from O'Reilly's. For some reason, this thing only has a 20, like a 20 to 22 gallon tank, which doesn't make any sense. It should have a 30 gallon tank, but uh, it does. So it's had a locking gas cap and it's just so silly because there's no need for it, especially with only that much gas. And it's so annoying to have to get my keys every time to unlock it. So I finally have a non-locking gas cap and it's green, it says diesel, which looks cool. Okay, off to the P.O. Box next, then B.C., then Matt's. We're on, we're on schedule, which is good. I figured we'd be way behind schedule by now, but we're not. We're not. We're doing good. All right, got the mail. Look at this. They drew my logo and everything. That's so cool. The only thing that sucks is this P.O. Box is in Orlando. I live an hour and a half away now, and I can't transfer it, and I already paid for a year. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just come back when I get packaged. I don't get stuff super frequently, so it's probably not a huge deal. I'm sure I'll have to be here for other stuff anyway, so I'll just see how it goes, I guess. And we made it to BC. So this is what I have to give them. It's basically this bar for the 10 by 20 tent. It broke in half, so I welded it back together. 
um, but I forgot to bring it with me forever ago, and yeah, so that's I mean, the main reason I had to make this trip was to bring them this far. <laughs> Made it to our final destination. Matt, your car is still so dirty. I have not washed it. I thought you were going to wash it. I did not realize we had a hose until I got here and saw we had a hose. Oh, uh, well, I just mean like, I thought, for some reason I thought you had already washed it. No. So, Matt... It needs a radiator, so while he's upgrading his radiator, he's gonna upgrade his fans. So he's graciously giving me his old fans. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Lifesaver. My fan, so one of them, I forget which one, but one of the, this one, has always had like, like the bearings been bad, so the blade would like bounce around, but then I, I think it bouncing around so much, it broke one of the blades off, so it was so out of balance that the whole car was shaking. So that's why I gotta replace it, because I had to kill power to that fan so that it didn't shake my radiator off the hinges. All right, yeah, pulled out. We staged that, we are, we are like almost out. And I'm like, I gotta film this. Look at those beautiful fans that aren't destroyed. Yeah. Love you, Matt, thank you. Yeah, this is like the only thing that I have to do to my car before grid life. Everything else is a bonus. Matt's confused on the time of year because he's got these free fenders that he was gonna use for overs and I need blue fenders. So he's just giving me Christmas presents today. Bye, Matt, thank you for the parts, Matt, you're the best. You're welcome. Can't wait to drive later. again. Oh, I'll see, yeah, I'll see you at Good Life. Yeah. I keep forgetting you're going. All right. I know, it makes me sad. Who am I gonna not be able to tandem with because our cars are too slow anyway? <laughs> <laughs> no keys. Twist to open. <laughs> it's the small victories, right? That uh, locking gas cap has been an annoyance for a very long time, and I'm very glad have a non-locking gas cap. I was like, oh crap, gotta grab my keys out of the, oh wait, I don't. I gotta say, man, after, this is my, that was my first time going back to Orlando after the move. I mean, it's only been a couple days, but I gotta say after like being here, like getting back here, it kind of feels like, like if you lived here all your life, you'd probably be like, this place is a, is a crap hole. But like, it's so nice. It's a nice break from like people everywhere and like, traffic and, and just you just always feel in a rush when you're in a busy area you're just like i gotta go i gotta go i gotta cut this guy off to get over here I go, oh, this guy's not only change lanes it's like whatever and then here it's just like just relaxed and laid back it's, it's nice i'm liking it i'm liking it we'll check in in like a month and see if i still like this but so far so good all right question for you guys can you see it there's a line see these, have you ever seen these lines in the road like especially on highways where it's like literally a cut into the pavement you can kind of see it yeah you can definitely see it where do those come from i'm sure one of you knows like what how do those happen is it my guess is like semi truck tires exploding and then they run it on the rim it's just weird you see them everywhere and i can't imagine because they go forever it's not like the tire explodes and they pull over like i don't know i'm curious let me know i'm sure one of you knows thank you home all right well it's nighttime, but we are getting started on the z uh, we've got the 436 diff to throw in so I can be in third for most of Road Atlanta, which will be perfect. The box that had all this stuff in it broke as I pulled it out of the car, so that's great. Uh, we have a Mishimoto oil cooler kit. We went with the thermostatic housing. I'll explain that if we get to install that today. We might not. Uh, what else? Bash bar. I'm going to install the bash bar. I need to take it out and paint it before we get started so it can dry and we can throw it on today. Uh, I got some of those fenders, or fans, and then I'm gonna try to like make my side skirts not look like they're falling off and put this back bumper on. That's the plan. Ben's doing Ben's use me auto parts things, taking apart a part of car. Hashtag has 100 transmissions, buys another car. <laughs> Powered mics are stupid. Um, all right, so, oh, am I not allowed to say that? I don't know, YouTube's weird. So. This is a bash bar from Heliarc Hustler. Uh, I'll link his Instagram below and put it on the screen because I think there's an underscore in it. But it's the same one that Matt and Adam have. I like it a lot because I think it's like one of the best looking bash bars, especially for a Z. I feel like for me, bash bars are either usually too skimpy or like they're cow pushers and I don't really like either of those. And this is like a really good happy medium. I wanted to make one myself, but I figured I might as well, you know, be twinning. So I primered it. Um, now we're gonna work on pulling the diff while the primer's drying and we'll just paint in between other projects. That's the plan. Then eventually you're gonna stop making me feel uncomfortable while I film. Yeah. You're gonna have to. On one day. <laughs> <laughs> I 
guess what? They sent it. All right, we got the dip in. Look at what happens when you go off track. Look at all that dirt. And there's just like mud on that. And I pressure washed underneath this at the gas station. So this is the 436 gear diff. The old diff, this one, is the stock, well, this is the one I got to put in for short tracks, like a skid pad and stuff. It's like a 350 something. It makes it to where a second is long enough for most short tracks, um, but has enough low in power. This makes it to where you can run third. Basically third's the happy medium. It's better for faster tracks since the car has low power. With that diff, third is pretty much unusable unless you're going real fast. So that's why we swapped the diff. Now on to Probably fans, ready for fans. All right, I got the bash bar painted black. I got to do one more coat after that one dries. Um, then is getting the Z fenders on. Look at that. Blue fenders. They're rusty. Look at how rusty they are. See the rust bubbles. But <laughs> my car has matching fenders. Wow, that looks crazy. I've never seen my car with anything other than black fenders, Ben. Oh, it looks amazing, Taylor. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate you inflating my ego for me. Very nice of you. <laughs> I hate you, Ben. Wow. It looks way better in camera than it does in person. The fenders look like they have amazing paint on them. Look at that, guys. Hashtag grid life prep. Hashtag looks like I care about my car. It does look a lot better, are you guys happy? There were so many people who wanted me to do this. And are you guys happy? Oh, we didn't, I didn't even open the fan mail. Let's see, I bet you it's paint. That would be so ironic if it was if it was blue paint for my fenders. Oh no, what is it? Put blue halos in my headlights. Definitely can't get this done tonight, but dang, that's tight. Son, oh look, there's a letter. What? Hey dude, hope you like this. Just a little something for the Z. Also, here's some stickers too. It's hot here too. Foms, F O M S. I'm not 100% sure. That's gonna be rad. Low power heroes, that's rad, that's perfect. Oh, I like this one too. JP. These are rad, this, my car definitely needs this. We're gonna put this on right now. Quick detailer that Ben hates on me for. I just don't think your car is worthy of it. Of quick detailer? I mean, it looks good as is. <laughs> I hate you. Got the new radiator fan assembly in. Here is what was wrong with the old one. As you can see it's missing this blade, so it was like way off balance. Oh, these are different, Ben. There's a four blade and a five blade. Yeah, no, I just, just remember I was like, it doesn't matter which one I plug into which connector. I guess maybe it did. Whatever, anyway, uh, yeah, so that was my problem there. So now my problem is, when I hit Adam at the Georgia event, I towed my car in like an inch and I just kept driving it and my tires are like real, real shitty. So I need to flip them. Actually, this is Ben's first time mounting big boy tires. I'm a professional. He's used to me out of tires. Go backwards first. I don't know. I'm just head. teaching you the big boy, big boy tire tricks. No, it is, it is this thing, but it doesn't scratch your wheels. <laughs> you know what else is crazy? My uh, tires used to sit under the fenders with those fenders. They must have been pulled so far that they covered the tire. But this is the same size tire, same size rim. Uh, we went ahead and put the new tires I was going to put on my rears, on the fronts, um, and then we used the old fronts for rears and just put the cording and camber wear on the outside. Pretty much it, I gotta check the alignment in the morning or at the track, whatever, fans in. I should check and make sure the fan works. Sounds like the work is fine. Uh, yeah, bash bar needs to dry overnight. I'm gonna throw one more coat of paint on it and drag it inside and we'll put it on tomorrow. Wind the car tomorrow, load up tomorrow, head to grid wife tomorrow. Ben is my personal slave for the weekend, which is great. You didn't even zip tie this fender back on. You're a terrible slave. You're a terrible. You don't dent my new fenders. You don't pay me enough. I don't pay you anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is going to be it for today slash tonight's video. I'm sweaty. I'm gross. I want to shower. Ben has been ready to go to bed for the past two hours. So 
He's going to go to bed. Very, very excited yeah. about that. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll load up, head to the event. It'll probably be day one of the event. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.